Welcome back guys, it's 601 Farmer here and today we are taking a look at Maypole Farm. So, we are on a new farmer. We are at the main farm, which is right here. And you do own seven fields, which include field 68, 66, 67, 84, 85, 86, and 90. And then here is your farm area right here that consists of your buildings and whatnot. So right here you have your dog. You got a dog. You got your house and then you got um, your chicken coop. But if you look at all your animal enclosements, you have uh, edited animals. So you can hold up to 600 in this chicken coop right here. So you're gonna have e eggs every day of the week. And you, as you can tell, the pickup truck that comes with the game is kind of beat up looking. Uh, it does have 18 hours on it, which we'll get to what the equipment has in just a second. So, on New Farmer, you do start out with 1,403 slots taken up, but you can get it down to 1,107 slots. Um, if we take a look, you can't get rid of this. This is not going nowhere. Um, let's see what else ain't going. The manure heaps that you see, well, this one and then this one, they're not going nowhere. And the hedges, like these, not going nowhere. So, that being said, everything else can go. So, yeah, you'll get your slot count down to 1,107. So, let's take a look at this animal. I mean, cow barn. Goodness gracious. You can have 700 cows in this one. That's unbelievable. That's crazy. You got a bunker right here or shed, whatever you want to call it. Your manure heap that goes with your cow barn. You got your grain silo. And this is the robot one. So that's pretty nice that you got the robot. You got a shed, your other shed. You got a bunker silo or whatever you want to call it. You got another shed. You got a bunch of sheds. Let's put it that way. Here's another cow pen. I mean another pen. It's your sheep pen. It holds 500. I feel like the cow barn should have been here since it's a little bit bigger for 700 cows. But you got your mineral slash seed. Yeah, mineral feed and seed feed. Seed. You can buy it right here and load it on in there. You got your horse barn, which holds 16. That's pretty decent for them, I guess. Let's see what else you got. You got another shed. You got your three-sided uh, bunker. And over here, if you would have came through here, you got your diesel tank. You got your liquid fertilizer tank right here. You got another shed. You got another cow barn. Let's see how many it holds. 850 cows in there. With your manure heap, goodness gracious. And it also has the feeding robot and another three sided bunker. And what can you go in here? Okay, so you can get fertilizer, solid fertilizer from here. That's insane, though. I have like 1,500 cows. Golly. That is crazy. So if we take a look at the equipment. You do own small tractor, which you own the Fent Vario 314, you own the Massey Ferguson 5S 145, and the Bueller 6105. And they all have hours on them as well. The Fent has 257 hours on it. So, kind of crazy. Uh, Valtra, Valtra has 165 hours on it. Uh, you got a wheel loader. And it has 243 hours. Man. Got a stone picker. You have a subsolar. You have your sub I mean your cedar. Additional tank. You got a bellard. Forge wagon. Wind rower. A tether. Front and back mowers. You got your roller for your grass. 
you got the Brindle fertilizer spreader and the uh, Amazon uh, fertilizer spreader. Every time I get to say in it, I, I blank out before I say it. You got your bell loader, which is pretty neat. I guess they gave it to you. It's pretty cool. Your front loader, your front loader attachments, your wheel loader attachments, your low, well, your transport wagon, and your weights. So yeah, you do not have a harvester, which I guess all your fields are grass, but yeah, no harvester, which a while ago when I was looking around, I didn't, so I guess, yeah, every field you own is grass. I guess that's why you don't need one. <laughs> so let's take a look at what all you can sell here. That's crazy. I ain't never seen that. So you can sell everything here at base game. But I'm just going to go through it and just let y'all see. So yeah, you can sell everything here. So that's pretty neat. Right, let's get to our truck. We'll do a drive around and I will get you guys out of here. So yeah, this is a pretty good looking farm. I like it. Um, has a lot going on here. You'll never not have anything to do with your animals. Which, as you can see from me driving, that even though this is a Irish built map, we can still have the space to get through here. It's not as tight as you see other maps with the stone wall on it. So that's a pretty good thing. I like that. So we'll just take a right here. And it has some pretty big fields here. I mean, is there anything that way? Actually, you know what? We'll go that way first. And here we come up on our first, I want to say, production. Pretty cool little entrance there. Yeah, it's a production. So let's see. We got our grain mill here. Let's check out the price on that. That's 96000 What is this? Okay. So this is your cereal factory. This is your grain mill. And we can find them on the other end of the <laughs> menu. So we're right here. So that's where that's at. You got your grain mill cereal factory so interesting interesting but like I said this is a big map I mean you can do, you can do a lot on here like man, that's a pretty big field you know I just not a big fan of hedges that's it but anyways ain't about me um we have our animal dealer here. Hot better on. Okay. Let's see. Let's keep it going. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. In the back here. What do we have here? Okay, never mind. It's all together still. You can sell stuff here. So. Oh, don't hit me. And we are here now. That's where we are. Now we're going to keep going. I'm trying to make sure I give y'all exactly where I'm going. Okay. Now let's just come back on down the road here. What do we got here? I'm losing everything. Okay. So, we have our spinnery here, which I'm assuming this is the spinnery. Okay, so you're gonna have to go in the back. Yep, sixty thousand for the spinner, guys. 
So, I mean, I like how everything's spread out. Like I said, it forces you to go out more, you know, and explore a little bit. Not be so confined to just your farm. So I find that I find that pretty cool. Oh, I like this little entrance here. And what do you know? I think we got another farm here. So this is great for multiplayer, guys. Honestly, we might do a multiplayer on Maypole. So you do have the cow pasture, or cow barn. I guess this is sheep. Yeah. You got your chicken coop here. I want to say this is a sheep, but there's no fence right here. So I guess they just don't ever leave. Um, but yeah, you, this is a pretty cool little area. You'll find this right here. So that's, I like this. Definitely. But yeah, this is a great, this is pretty big. Okay, now let's. Nope, let's go the other way. Because now we're close to where. This is all forested right here to our left. So that's pretty nice. I think I passed. Nope, I didn't pass it. But they give you a lot of options here. And that's what I like about some of these maps they give you options to do what you really want to do you know and we are at the great processing unit right here eighty thousand dollars for it and that could be found right down here so we checked out all this okay now let's go back up towards the farm okay guys well i guess we missed one uh, we're going to check out this one right here I mean, I could easily tell y'all what it is, but I figured, you know, we take a look through here, take a ponder. So, this is your sawmill. I like where it's at. Pretty nice, pretty neat. $100,000 for the sawmill, and it's not making any noise. That's weird. Usually, every time I pull up to a sawmill, it's super loud. So... That's pretty cool. You can come through that back way where, you, where if you were logging at, it'd be super convenient for you. So yeah, the entrance to, uh, see they made it wide enough for you to get back here too. Genius. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. You have a pond here. Catch you some big bass. Let's see if there's any fish in here. Nope, no fishies. Zero fishies. But yeah, that's nice. Sit out and relax, you know. Catch some sun rays. And this map is big. But yeah, this is pretty cool that you can, you know, you got a lot of space to come do what you gotta do. Cause like, how much is field 13? 113. Okay, so they're fairly cheap. You know, all of them are really fairly. I think the... I mean, this is so cheap. I mean... I figured that was going to be a lot more expensive. I figured it was bigger. But... Onward. So now we are at the bottom... of the map. And we're just taking a look over here. Seeing what we got. Oh, I figured that was going to be a road coming back up. Well. Okay. I guess this is what? The bakery? No, yep, bakery. $50,000. And you can find this right at the bottom. Let's keep it pushing. Okay, fresh produce, huh? Let's get to stepping over here. And we're just right up the road from where the bakery was. Let's see, what's, what is this? Okay, Johnson's Farmer's Market. I've never actually seen it in person. I've sold to it, I've just never literally seen it. And that is right here. So, that's pretty cool. And as you can tell, too, like from when I first looked at the map, I thought a lot of this stuff 
was the um, like production of sale points, but in reality, it's actually viable land and farms for you to buy. So that's pretty cool. Like, look at that. That's a pretty big one there. Let's actually take a look at that. Man, so you do. Okay. So you got your cow barn here. Of course your sheds. I think this is the sheep pasture. Yeah, or a horse one, I'm not too sure. You have another sheep and a pigsty. That's a big old pigsty. But you see, you know, you got a lot going on here. I mean, this is perfect for somebody else to farm with. You, okay. And that can be found right here. And it's only $45,000. And you gotta buy the pigsty separately. So, not too bad, not too bad. Let's keep it going. And honestly, we're about to come upon the BGA. Let's get over here to the BGA. Wrong driveway. Okay. My bad, woman. Jeez Louise, woman. Dang. Okay. And here we are at the BGA. Just take a loop around it because I do not know much about them. <laughs> yeah, nice burner. I like that. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. There's your BGA, folks. Big old bunker. And that can be found right here. Let's just keep it going. Pretty big mouth. I mean, the sale points are all over the place, it seems like. Okay, and here's your shop. That's where your vehicle spawn in at. So you got, and they reset here to here. So you got a big, about a pretty big area. You have your store here where you can get some gas. A Baylor Essential Essence. Essential. You got your sugar mill. I thought the buy spot was right there. Okay. Sugar mill. 80, I mean, 80 grand. And you got your, basically what you would use for train. You got your biogas right here. So you would just dump off. Oh, and you got your uh, debris crusher. And that's just a placeable building. So yeah, you would just come up in here, you know, and dump it and I guess sell it. Um, I really don't know what it does. There's no train on here for as I can see. So yeah, there you go right there, and that is bada bing bada boom right here. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get through this map because there's a lot on this map. And I just smoked that car. Okay. But you can tell uh, the driving on here, they're not hauling butt like on uh, Medlevin or Medlevin or something like that. So they drive a pretty pretty safe on here. They don't stop for you, but that's neither here nor there. And there's your farm down in there. Oh whoa! Now we are coming up on the other farm, actually. A little off roading real quick, so I can get in the farm. We'll go this way. Okay. And this farm is where is it? Oh man, I done lost it. Okay, this is the farm right here. For $23,000. Not too bad. Actually, let me get down here and show y'all how much. Okay, this one's fifty, almost 54000 Okay, so that's not too bad. So, all, all together, they're not too expensive at all. You do have your sheep pen. Another sheep pen, I think, or horse one. Uh, your chicken coop and your little house so you can put your cell point there so that's not too bad back on the road again can't wait to get back on the road again and we are at some stale stations all oh, no, 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 no. we are at production sites 
We are at the dairy right here. So the dairy's here. Take a look at that bad boy. He's right here. I think it's seventy thousand dollars. I like that field. Pretty open. Pretty worker friendly here. That's something I like about it too. And here you have your carpentry, which is on the other side of the road. How much is this going for? Sixty thousand. So sixty thousand dollars, you can have a carpentry, folks. And then, Shakabui, you have your grocery mart right here. So if we just take the illegal way to go, and here you can find that in the back, I think, in the back, yeah, you have your dump point. And as you can tell through here, you get the pretty view pretty. Let me know y'all's thoughts though on this map. What do y'all think of it so far? I know it's only been out for a few hours. But we got we got another farm here. Another one. It's only DJ Khaled now. Okay. Where are we at? Um, yep, we're here. So this farm is, in, is broken up into parts. So that comes with that field. So fifty-six thousand for that, twenty-eight four for that, twenty-five nine for this one. So let's take a little glancey glance. You got a big pig sty. I hope those are pig styes. Um, you got your sheds. You got seven hundred of them, and then you got your cow barn. Which all the, I'm assuming that all of the farms have cow barns that have the feeder to them because you gotta remember that they hold up to 700 or 850 850 cows so you better be prepared and ready for all that I couldn't imagine trying to feed that many cows on here goodness be a lot of spending but hey it'd be all worth that you'd get a lot of produce I mean milk. So, here's another one. A little storage area right here. Right up the road. So right here we just got sheds. So that's pretty cool, you know. Buy that down there and then come up here. Or shoot, you could just take all this off and build you a farm here. If you wanted to go that route, you could. I like That's what I like about maps. They give you the options to do what you want to do most of the time anyways. Sometimes they're like, no, nah, I'll put that there and it's going to stay there. So let's get on up the road. Wait, where was that at? Okay, here it is. Now we're at Needle and Stitch. You can find that. Look right here, my friend. Which is the tailor shop. It is $100,000. Little shabby for my liking. So, and the final destination we got here is what is this? Your old mill. Now, where's the point for this? It is right here. Eighty thousand dollars. So, all in all, pretty nice map. Your machinery has hours on it. You don't have a harvester, so be ready for that. Some of the things you really can't get rid of unless y'all found the way to do it, and if so, leave it in the comments. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. So, if you did learn anything, please consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.